the breakfast taco, potato, bacon, and eggs. How I started my morning since you know, I was a kid. It's got everything you need in there, man. So. This episode is brought to you by Four Corners Brewing Company out of Dallas, Texas. Taking inspiration from their neighborhood roots, Four Corners Brewing Company has created a place and product where local flavor interacts with craft brewing. Check out fcbrewing.com to find it near you. I was cooking every every weekend, pretty much four times a month, five times a month, six times a month. Cooking got to the point where people were asking already, like, uh, can we buy it? Can we buy it? And then a few friends had just said, dude, why don't you open up a little shop? I said, okay, I'll do that. The time and the effort, you know, that, that, that goes into the process. We actually started cooking yesterday around 10 a.m. For today, you know, we started yesterday's briskets. You see the time, you know, we throw a plate together. There's about 20 hours of time that went into that one plate. It's a craft for sure. Like, I, I wouldn't know, it maybe art's a good word for it, right? But it's like anything, like Picasso has a paint and a brush. You know, he could also, Picasso could also make a brisket with a fire, but it won't probably won't be as good as ours, you know? So like, it's just like anything, you can, you want you want a porch in your house, you can build it yourself or you can hire a professional carpenter to do it, right? You're gonna get exactly what you pay for. It was late 2018 when Daniel Vaughn made his first visit over here. I knew who he was at that point. And you just get, you're like, man, are we, what if we're not, what if we're good enough, what if we're not good enough? You know, like, what if we're absolute trash compared to the best, you know? I look out the window and here Vaughn's like taking pictures of the patio, so I'm like, oh my God, you know? So that was the, that was the day, the moment it happened. He had wrote about our, our brisket on Instagram. He made a quick post, took a picture, like, oh wow. Press the barbecue coming from Mathis. Frank uh, brisket is Franklin S. He worded it like that. After that, like the next day, somebody was like, "Hey, we saw that post. You get a pound of brisket." Type of, like the impact, just from one day to the next. Even something slight like that, I saw it. And then gradually, since then, like I think it was like a year later, they did like a midterm, 2019. They did a midterm, which is a top 25 new, and we landed on there. So we we were in, we were basically in the running for a top 50 spot, which was released a few months ago. It felt great, you know, for for the longest time. I mean, we weren't we weren't sure if we were up to par with what they thought was the best barbecue in the state, and that's the reason we're here. I mean, not to be, you gotta try at least. You know, if you're not trying to be recognized in that sort of sense, what are you doing it for?